welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. Uh, last time, I'm not sure what happened last time, but we're going outside, or we're going up to our room right now. Um, oh, we're gonna get a text apparently before we do anything else. Uh, let's see, who is it from? It's from Kiko. Do you like scary movies? There's this new horror movie out called One Miss Text. I don't think anyone wants to go with me, but I don't want to see it alone. If you want to see it, call me. Please. Alright, so the movie she wants to see is now being shown at the theater. And if we go there, we should maybe invite Yukiko to see it. Not today. Right now, we're going to go ahead and translate. So if you select work, and then translate. And sit down. And we'll work on translating. Alright, so we have a hard time translating expressions in the foreign language. Her expression has increased, thanks to English Made Easy, we got another one. And we've increased our expression to enthralling. Alright, we encounter a sentence that seems to have been written for a child. For a child, or by a child? Uh, let's write it as a child would. Alright, writing the lines in a child speech pattern turns out to be fun. Alright. So I think that means we make a little bit of extra money for our translating, because we got a little bit more done. Alright, we get 15,000 yen for that, so let's keep going here. One thing we're going to go do real quick is I want to show how to catch bugs. We haven't done that, and it's because I forgot one thing. Oh, we're going to get a phone call first. Hello? This is Yukiko. Hey, Yukiko. Uh, so she wants us to meet us today, but we're going to pass. Oh. Uh, Sorry, Yukiko. Um, yeah, you interrupted me going to catch bugs. I don't know if we got anything in the mail. Oh. Alright, well, let's get our... Let's uh, watch the shopping program and see what's being sold today. Today is... Charm Drape, the Heavy Soup, or the Chest Key, which we don't really care about, and five prize stickers. Um... Let's get the charm drape. I don't think we have one of those. I don't think we've seen one of those yet. Alright, enough of this. Please stop. Okay. Well, let's go outside real quick here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go out to eat into the evening. We're gonna do some social link stuff today. Let's see what she's selling. Let's buy the eggplant seedling. I think we still have some of those, but that's fine. Uh, hopefully you guys can't hear the aircraft going over, but if you do, well, my apologies, it's really loud. Uh, we're gonna go to the Central Shopping District. Okay, you can stop making noise up there. And then we're gonna go to the Shrine. So, to catch bugs, the first thing you need to do is you need to talk to this little kid. He knows everything about bugs. Alright, so bugs can be caught under the tree, the one that's behind us. And the bugs here are apparently really smart, and if you catch one, the others like it, know to stay away. The next day, they forget. They're pretty smart, but pretty stupid too. Essentially, if you catch during the daytime, you can't catch at night. Let's talk to him again. Uh, let's ask how to catch bugs. You get your net ready, hold it tight, and then boom. Don't rush it though. Okay, so now if you go over to these trees, okay, you need to go catch bugs. And it's gonna pop up with a tutorial. So you've got your, your net. Bugs together on the tree, so it says uh, press the X button to swing the net, and then when you get the little exclamation mark, uh, swing. Um, the timing is kind of difficult, and I always suck at it. Yeah, I'm off. But I think I still caught some bugs. I'm I'm always a little slow. All right, so we caught a cricket and we caught a ladybug, and we can go fishing with some of these uh, bugs. We'll do that later, but first... Oh, wrong one. Oh, hey! Is that Namatame? Oh yeah, he's still here. Alright, well he's saying the same thing as last time. Let's go back to the north. No, I was right, south. I'm just too far north. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hang out with uh, Marie over here. You're late. Um, don't think I'm late. Alright, so she wants to go somewhere. Alright, so our relationship's gonna deepen, so let's go ahead and Hurry, go. Let's go. 
Alright, so, uh, yeah, sure you can remember something this time. So she can't wait to go, so we're gonna go somewhere to calm down. Alright, so we're back at the riverbank, apparently. What are you supposed to do? So the comb is apparently something special, or at least it's something, like, antique. Uh, she said it was old, or she never saw anything like it. She said it was old. She also said she's never seen one like this before. Uh, in this case, you can say pretty much whatever you want, and they're all, uh... They'll all give you the same results, so... Museum, gallery. All right. I don't get it. Well, usually they're there for showcasing, not really for using them. Uh, they're works of art. Paintings and those stone thingies. This comb has no point. It's possible it doesn't have a point, but I'm pretty sure it does. And she's for some reason impressed with that. Like I said, you can choose anything you want, so don't worry about following what I'm doing. Who knows about stuff like that? Who around here we know about art and antiques? Um, how about, uh, this guy? The old man is the one that owns the art store. Yeah, he considers himself an artist. So let's go see him. This town has a ton of weird people. Yeah, it does. Let's go. All right. Yeah, maybe we will plan something out. So let's go ahead and uh, shuffle over to the art store. I think it's a metalwork store, so you probably won't have anything to do with uh, combs, but maybe he can point us in a, in a better direction. Well, we we buy them actually, and we use them in battle. Hey, apparently it's Teddy. Oh. Hey, Yukiko. Emmy, Emmy. Oh. Big scoop, what big scoop are you talking about? Uh, let's ask, and you two? What should you do, Teddy? What are you talking about, Teddy? Ah, so Yukiko is buying supplies for the inn. And she's making Teddy be his, or her, or, uh, be a workhorse. Okay. Yeah, she did. I don't even think she realized. It's all piled up next to the store. <laughs> Poor Teddy. You mean who is this? Oh, uh, I think the last time you saw him, he was in a bear costume. Little Teddy, huh? All that heavy petting you gave my fur. Well, that's disturbing. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he, she, she saw him in your costume. Remember? At the... Uh, Tunes. Kindness and fur. Stop sparkling, please. What? Power of love? What are you talking about, Teddy? Yeah, even she's not on the Teddy boat. Well, we're not quite shopping. We've uh, we're looking for information. Shopping for information? Uh, we're doing some research. Well, you got another artist in town that you know? This. Weren't you around last time we did- Oh no, no, Rise was with us. Ho ho, this is... Yeah, it is very unique. We want to learn about it. Well, Kiko doesn't know anything. 
Okay. And Teddy's apparently never seen anything like it before either. And, but he likes it because it's pretty and shiny. Which, well, I don't blame him. Well, yeah, he seems to dabble in a lot of art. Are those knives back there inside the pillar? I don't know, he might. Let's ask him. Interrogation? This is an interrogation, we're just asking him a question. Calm down there, Teddy. I still wonder why he has an X across his face, like the scar. Oh, Teddy's scared. Ah, so, just gonna show him the comb. Comb? Yeah, right there. Ah, okay, so he recognizes it as well done. Almost too perfect. What do you mean, almost too perfect? Um. Yeah, we uh, we don't know where it's from either. Oh. All right. So he can't even tell the age of the comb. Part of a festival, huh? That's interesting. Oh. Oh, and he's gonna tell us what it's made out of. Okay, well that's more information than we had to begin with. It's not our average bamboo, huh? So, similar to a rare type of bamboo that grows in some region, but... Not normal bamboo. Something from another world, huh? Well, you did end up in the freaking velvet room, and that's in between time and space somewhere. What world is it from? I don't think he's gonna be able to answer that, Teddy. You alright? <sighs> no, I don't think she's alright. What was that? She's in pain, huh? Now let's ask her if she remembers something. Yeah, I think she's trying to remember something. Okay, well that's not gonna help if- well, I mean, she can give her some acetaminophen, I guess. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen him move. Medicine, huh? Bye. Bye, guys. Alright, so- wait, Teddy's leaving too? Ah, how convenient, now we're alone. What is this? I don't know, what is this? It's right there in your brain, isn't it? Like something is keeping it from you? Uh, take it easy. And then? She still can't remember anything, huh? Okay. Yeah, there's some urgency in here. We're running out of time. Alright, so we've increased to level 7. Which is good. Alright, so she's going back to the velvet room. Bye. Alright, good. You're back. Yep, we're home. Alright, sorry. I had to take a slight break there. Alright, so she went shopping today and the fridge is full of food. 
Well, we're not gonna do uh, that. We're gonna go up to our room real quick. I'm gonna reset my watch here because it's trying to fall off my wrist. And we're gonna go sit down here at the work table and we're gonna make a model. Yeah, remember this? We haven't done this in a while. All right, so we decided to build a model. All right, so we're assembling the complex pieces that are green. And our diligence has increased. Oh, sticker is peeling off already. All right, the model has been completed. So we finished, I have no idea what that is, but we're gonna be showing it to the man at the bottle shop. All right, we're at school. Yeah, the police are probably not in town as much anymore because they don't need to be. There's still some loose ends, but the police are apparently ready to end everything. Well, that's good. Alright, so... That's not really that far back. Alright, so the school trip starts on Thursday, and both the first and second years are going. And it's doubtful because I think she's coming with us. Then she's looking forward to it. Well, that's because she's in town and she's accessible. She's not really an idol anymore because she quit. And she's not really resent anymore because she quit. Alright. So, yeah, we are having an eventful year. And yeah, it is weird. And oh, this is, uh, this is the Mr. Garrison look-alike and Mr. Hat not look-alike. Yeah, we got a detective and an idol and murders. Yeah, but doesn't the same thing over and over again become tedious and boring? I hate routine. Alright, so we're gonna cover haiku today. Apparently. So, okay, so there are words or phrases in haiku that can be associated with a particular season. Alright, so he's gonna ask us a question. Kai Kaigo? Is that how you pronounce that? Alright, for fall, the answer is brisk. Alright, so just trust me on this one. Just pick brisk. Alright, so it is an adjective usually used regardless of season. It is a fall. I'm guessing it's Kaigo? I'm guessing it's Kaigo. So, if you're writing a haiku, don't use that word to describe a season that is fall. I have to look more of that up. That actually sounds pretty interesting. Alright, so our knowledge has increased. And that ends our school day. Oh, we haven't had one of these in a while. Alright, so Yukiko wants to hang out. Okay, yeah, so Yukiko's nervous, but we're just gonna pass that for a moment here. Ah, it's Yosuke, we're not hanging out together. Uh, let me just pass these through real quick, because I really don't care. Everything's already set up for us, so. Oh my gosh! Go away, folks. Alright, so no key is going to be there. Yoski. So everybody that just talked to me is ready to have their uh, relationship increased. Just as an FYI. But before we do any of that... Oh, look. Is that Teddy? Yeah, we're on our way home. Exaggerated nonchalance. When did you start coming to school? What are you doing here? Okay, so apparently he wants to see what it's like to be a student. I wanted to know more about the school that we all go to. Okay, so Teddy is going to start joining us, apparently. Uh, his The Star Social Link is still going to do its own thing, so we don't have to worry about it. It's just he's going to be around. Yeah, so Teddy is going to be coming to school from here on out. For whatever reason. Hope this doesn't cause any problems. I'm sure that it will. Well, for. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's Teddy. I don't think he's here for you. I don't think anybody's here for you. Par partner? I don't think you want a partner. I think you want a slave. Somebody that worships your every step. I don't think you get that. Alright, we're gonna go into town. First of all. And we're gonna go to the shopping district. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to... The one twin sister here. The older twin. Alright, so... She's asked everyone, but they all say that normal people can't perform telepathy. But she thinks that twins might be able to do so. So she wants to do something. She'd like us to... Do twin telepathy, apparently. So she thinks her sister and her should be able to do that. And she wants us to be the witness, okay? So she's going to say, so she's going to tell us what she's thinking, and then we're going to go over and see if she's thinking the same thing. Yeah, we're going to help them. All right. So ask her what snack pops into her head. And she's going to start transmitting. So chocolate. Okay, so we're going to go find the younger twin and report the results. Well, so we got quest 43. So let's uh, leave. If we remember correctly... The younger sister is in the floodplain. Somewhere over here. Is she in the floodplain or is she in the riverbank? Must be the riverbank. Oh, there she is, okay. Alright, so the younger twin doesn't want to go home. And... Alright, so you need to figure out what the first snack she thinks of without tainting the experiment. How do we want to phrase the question? Um, so name a snack is what we want to choose. So we told her just like we were asked to, name a snack. So she wants a drink rather than a snack, apparently. Alright, so she wasn't thinking of chocolate. Alright, so let's go report the results. Alright, so... Alright. Oh, you're back. How was it? Did she get it? Uh, what? Gave her a hint? No, that's not okay. But if she asked for a hint, that basically means she didn't get my message telep uh, telepathically, huh? Well, thanks for helping. Here's a token of my appreciation. And we can receive some tea. Um... Ah, so she's gonna try again some other time. Good. I don't remember what the tea does. Ah, cures poison. Very nice. Uh, we haven't used too many items, but uh, that might change in some of the upcoming dungeons, which get really, really, really long. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the north. And we finished our... model, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Alright, so yeah, we finished the model that you gave us. Alright, so we did a really good job with it, apparently. It's well made. And he's tearing up. Alright, so the love of a fur creation is apparently deeper. Oh, he's he's excited about this. Oh, must be getting old. Yeah, I understand that. Recalling the days I spent toying away at plastic models. It was fun, but it's all in the past now. Thank you. By giving me a final glimpse of this joy, you made me realize that this phase of my life has passed. Starting tomorrow night, I'm going to start sorting through the remaining models at my store. I'd like to give... I'd like and you'll need to go give my thanks to the shrine, too. I feel as if I have a new reason to live now. This man smiles sadly. Alright, so we finished the request. We should report back to the fox. And he's going to give us another model. Okay. And he wants us to come show this one as, to him as well. So he'll be at the shop at night. And he'll give us another one if we put it together. So we get another unfinished model. Alright, and we complete quest 11. Alright. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the shopping district and we're going to head back to school. Yeah. <laughs> that 
we wanted all the place. Let's hang with Yukiko. Oh. She's nervous for some reason. Alright, so apparently the chefs were thinking about a new menu item. And she needs someone to taste test it. Okay. It'll be delicious. Sure, we'll find out if Marie is interested. Let's talk to her again. Oh. Alright, so she's not busy and our relationship's going to deepen, yes. so. Let's hang out with her. Hey, we're at the shrine. Why are you embarrassed? Um Yes? Oh, so the waitress told everyone about me, apparently. And they're saying that she should bring me home. That's adorable. She's still blushing. Yeah, and they're probably telling the guests about me, too. Middle-aged man. Deputy mayor, huh? Okay, so apparently the inn's really busy. Hmm? Oh. Interview for the travel show? I thought you weren't doing that stuff. Yeah, we sure will. I thought you weren't doing the TV show. Alright, so apparently she's running off. Right, so there's a travel show, okay. Alright, so they agreed to do it because no one will be filmed, so that's good. And they need her to clean. Okay. Why don't I go too? What's happening? Hey, it's the waitress! TV crew- what do you mean don't go back to the end? Oh god, these guys again. Ah, I think they're gonna find us, aren't they? Oh, yep, yeah, it's those guys. Oh, why am I not surprised? Future manager of the cursed inn. I don't think it's cursed. Oh, great. So they dug up the dirt on the murder case about Mayumi. And apparently there's been dropping visitors. Of course, there's been a lot of murders here in general recently, so it's not just that. Okay, so apparently this guy came up with a great idea. The high school manager's embarrassing struggle renovating the cursed inn. I, I don't think that's what we want. A little bathing scene? What the hell are you talking about? Isn't that pornography? Like, child pornography? Isn't she, like, 14? Honest manager, steamy service. Of course, all you care about is your ratings. Why am I not surprised? Now you shut up back there. Nobody asked you. Yeah, now we're not interested in whatever the hell you're talking about. You know, we have television, you know. Just because we live out in the country doesn't mean anything. I don't know what you're talking about. The patrons are not going to dry up. This place isn't going to go out of business. You're not going to threaten us, are you? Or her? 
No, it's us. We're together in this. It's not a dump of an end. What the hell are you talking about? Former high school innkeeper. I don't I don't think we want to hear you out. He'll go home, huh? I don't think he will. What the shit? I like that. Not crappy and run down. I'm sure, it's a really nice place. Most uh, hot springs are generally pretty cool. Well, well, I mean they're hot, but you know, tradition is so last year. Small portions, decent service. I I think that stands out. Well, I don't know too much about the local area in Inaba, but in general, that stands out. Same old, same old. There's nothing wrong with same old, same old. People generally like to go to the same place over and over again because they do the same thing. They don't want something new and startling. And that's why you suck. You don't suck. A extra service? What the hell does that mean? It what? So you want to make all the waitresses young girls, which is kind of weird, and have them do all day menus? That, that, that is a brothel. I don't think we're, I don't think this is a brothel, this is just a, a hot springs. Why don't you use your head? Huh? Yeah, who does take this st these stupid ideas seriously? That's not very nice. Uh, do it, I guess. Yeah, I think when if we hit you with the source, you're gonna go away. I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna be happy to hear that from you. Hey! They left. <sighs> you ain't good, Kiko. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Yeah, you should probably go tell them that we told those T V reporter guys off. Yeah, you did. Uh, you wanna say you were cool. Alright, she's relieved. Good. Alright, so you don't want it to be closed. I mean, it technically is your home. Right? I mean, you live there, and you work there, and you help out there. Parents, work so it is home, technically. Yeah, it is. Alright, so Yukiko is facing her true feelings and our relationship's growing deeper. Alright, so we're at level 8. Awesome. And on top of that, she's learned. Udon. Uh, that is, um, yeah, medium chance to kill one, so we're gonna replace Mudo. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Mudo is light, or the light chance to 
to just yeah, to kill a little him. longer. Uh, yeah, we can stay here. To what? What's with the weird blush? Yeah, her heart's racing. Why is your heart racing? Sure, we'll stay here. Thank you. Uh, well, yeah, we're not quite there to the uh, lovers' relationship flag. I'll let you know when we get there. No worries. Welcome back. All right. Uh, before we do anything, I'm basically going to pause here because we're about 30 minutes in. Um, let's go ahead and uh, harvest some vegetables. So we got the uh, speed melons. And we're going to plant uh, eggplants this time around. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and fast forward. So the bead melons. Now that we actually have one. Let's go the other direction. Where is it? Where the, where the veggies? There they are. Uh, the bead melon fully restores one ally with HP and SP. So that's really good. Uh, we have two eggplants, which will save us from uh, instant death, so that's good. Alright, so next time, we've, we've got a little bit of time before we head off to the school trip, so we'll try and finish that up next time. Um, but until then, we'll, uh, we'll stand here in the thing and listen to music. So, anyway, I'll see you next time. <laughs>